get into this video, I want to give a very special shout out to Ashley Lauren365. Thank you girls so much for watching my content and for commenting on my videos, hitting those thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You have been a loyal subscriber, y'all. Go over to her channel and show her some love and let her know that trust to impress sent you. Now, let's get into the video. Good morning, Trust Troop. I am making my breakfast omelet again this morning. So I have my eggs, tomatoes. I'm going to cut up some cantaloupe on the side. I have my homemade pico de gallo. I'll show you guys what that looks like in a bit. Bell pepper, onion, garlic. I'm going to use a little bit of cheese this time, but I'm trying to stay away from cheese and dairy. Uh, get my life together, you know. Um, this is a really good bacon. So if your um, grocery store does not have Wright's bacon, Wright's is the brand, then this is a really good second place. Hormel Black Label. I'm not talking about this specific flavoring, but it's the good thick sliced bacon like we like. You know what I'm saying? And then some butter. My air fryer is dirty. So I figure what a perfect time to try out this Grove Collaborative uh, dishwashing brush. So basically you're supposed to put the dish soap in the ceramic container. All three pieces come with it. And this is my free Mrs. Myers dish, dish soap that I got from Grove Collaborative. And you can see that the smell is pumpkin spice, but it's not a super loud smell. So I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know how concentrated this soap is, so I'm just going to put, maybe it has a seal. Hold on. All right, fam, bam. It had a seal on it, so let's try this again. Yeah, so I'm just going to put a generous amount of soap since I don't know how concentrated it is, and then from there, you're supposed to add warm water, and ooh, I flooded it. It filled up so fast, y'all. So now I gotta pour some of my soap out. It's not supposed to be that full. Okay, at this point I'm making a mess. As y'all can see, I had to clean up. That was a horrible demonstration, but look, this is real life. This is a vlog, this is not a commercial. So you put this back in and I think the water is supposed to be below the level of this because you put the brush in and you pump it to make the suds come out. And then, and then I'm going to use that to clean out this air fryer. So I'll be right back to show you guys what the results are. All right, here's my full review. You can see that my air fryer is clean and it only took me literally a few seconds, but let me tell y'all. Okay, first of all, the way the handle is made where the handle kind of sticks out farther than the bristles on the side, or at least an equal amount, you can't get these crevices. Then when you turn it, the middle, if the bristles were cone shaped, it would reach, but it doesn't reach. Y'all see that? And then if the wooden part of the handle were smaller at the base, then I would be able to get the brush closer in that little crack. So for this full crevice around the edge of my pan, I had to use um, my dish rag. So that's what I like and what I don't like about it. Now, if you're cleaning skillets, you don't have this 90 degree angle. So I guess it will work better for some other dishes, but for this one, it's not cutting it. And the pumpkin spice uh, dish soap smells amazing. I cannot wait to clean the house with this stuff, y'all. All right, y'all, I have my bacon in the air fryer, and then we are going to put this puppy on. I think there's a bacon button right here. And then start. And I like to, uh-oh. I like to turn the air fryer towards the stove in the kitchen, and then I turn on the vent part of the stove. Because when I've cooked bacon in this thing before, I have seen like grease bacon smoke flying out of this thing. So right now I have garlic and butter heating up in the skillet and it smells so good, y'all. It smells amazing. That carry gold butter is super sweet. Like, it smells so sweet. And then I cut up some onions and bell peppers. I like a lot of onion and bell pepper in my omelet. Next, I'm going to cut up some tomato 
and add my chibi. I just cut my cantaloupe open and I'm so excited because look at the color. It is amazing. It's gonna be so good. I gotta scoop the guts out. Okay, I have a bowl for my little cantaloupe cubes and I wash the outside really well. So I wouldn't have to cut the rind off. Let's check out this omelet. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. I'm gonna go ahead and toss the tomatoes in. And we're not doing a lot of tomatoes this morning because I'm going to put homemade pico de gallo on top. Don't play with me. Do not play with me. So we have our tomatoes on there and then I'm going to put my cheese. Not too much cheese. I just want to use up what's in the fridge. And I like to use a lid when I'm doing my omelet. So boom, and it's on low. I'm more likely to actually eat this fruit if it's already cut up so I can be lazy. So I put my, the rest of my cantaloupe in a container. And I love these Tupperware containers. They pretty much like air seal. And then you pop the sides down. So I'll store that in the fridge. I think it's time for a flip, y'all. What do y'all think? Looks done. I probably like my eggs cooked longer than what they should be cooked. Oh no, I'm tearing it up. All right, y'all, so I got it closed. I'm gonna let it cook a little bit longer and then we will top it with the pico de gallo. Y'all, it smells so yummy and sweet and amazing. Here is my omelet and then my bacon got a little bit crispier in the air fryer than I wanted but you know that's okay here is my homemade pico de gallo and some of the juices are coming out of the tomatoes at this point but it has had what two days of time to marinate so the lime and the cilantro is super bright when you eat it look at how yummy and delicious and beautiful Y'all, I might be a skinny girl, but I know food. I know what tastes good, I promise you. All right, so we got omelet, bacon, and fruit. It is time for the first bite. Get a nice big bite. Some pico on top of there. Mmm. Look at that, smoking hot. Mmm, mmm. The pico is perfect. Ooh, it's extra crunchy. Y'all can put the bacon inside of the omelet too, of course. I just put mine on the side since I was cooking the bacon in the air fryer at the same time as the omelet. Mm, 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 mm. And this cantaloupe, get you one. You want some? Look at it glistening. Just glistening. Mm. Look at my teeth marks, y'all. Mm -hmm. mm, so good. It doesn't get any better than that. So I am going to finish my food alone and I'll check in with y'all later. Now, y'all, the pico de gallo is so good and the butter and the garlic and the uh, veggies that I put in the omelet are so good that I am halfway through my omelet and I just realized I did not even season the omelet. No salt, no pepper, no herbs, no nothing. What? So now I got to sprinkle a little salt on here. Y'all, I killed it. I smashed it. It was so good. Fruit. Smash that too. Woo! 
now it's time to get my day started so stay tuned what's up y'all it is lunch time and i am about to have a hamburger and fries my hamburger is already made um, but i have the bun cheese butter um, a potato because i'm going to make homemade fries i'm going to try to make fries in the air fryer we will see how that goes because I don't know. I've never done it before. We got pickles, lettuce, tomato, and then I have my fruit. So it's not the most healthy uh, lunch, but I'm trying to use what I have in my fridge. Y'all, I'm about to try out this potato washer from Grove Collaborative that I unboxed. See how it goes. So it has the scrubber and then it also has this pick for those little eyes in the potato. So let's check it out. I'm about to scrub, scrub, scrub this potato because I'm not going to peel it. I'm going to make french fries and I want to leave the peel on. So we have to scrub all the dirt off. Let's see how it works for the eyes. I'm not, this one doesn't really have bad eyes in it, so I'm just going to pick a spot just to see if this works. Uh, oh yeah, it does work. Wow. Hey, it really does work. That's crazy, y'all see that? So, it was an eye like this, and you push it in and twist it, and it comes right out. Crazy. Do y'all have these? I've never had one of these before. I feel like this is something like my grandmother would have in the drawer that she uses, but I normally just rinse my potato off and then I use the knife to get the eyes out if they're bad. So the scrubber is definitely working because dirty water is splashing everywhere. All right, y'all. I think that tater is squeaky clean. Cut him up. I don't know if this is a sharp enough knife for this. Y'all, since we moved, I have not been able to locate my lovely Mimi Chop Top knife set. And those knives are super sharp. I love them so much. She's not selling them anymore, so I can't promote it. She's supposed to be selling some other products. Um, but I love that knife set. And if y'all didn't see me use them before in my cooking vlog, they're... um. big sharp knife I have already used. That one is big, but it's not sharp. So I'm going to try this smaller one because I think it's a little bit sharper. Okay, how do I want to cut this though? Oh, I like homemade fries that are like in the disc shape. So I usually cut them this way because that's how my grandma does it. But I want to try to make long fries. So how do I... Okay, let's just... Let's experiment. Y'all come along for the ride. But I don't want them really big. I want them to be kind of small. I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. Is it obvious? Is it obvious? Okay, so my fries are all cut up and I did not clean out my air fryer from putting my bacon in there this morning. So that should add some really good flavor. I'm going to season these with salt and pepper, maybe some herbs, I haven't decided yet, and then let the air fryer go. My fries came out pretty cute. I think I did a good job. What do y'all think? I think they look like some pretty good five guys fries. 
now I'm about to rinse me a leaf of lettuce. I only need one leaf for my burger. It's not that serious. So take one off, rinse it off. Okay, y'all, so I'm turning Again, my, my meat for my burger is already made, so, and this is a small bun. I've been trying to cut back on the bread, so it's a tiny, it's like a slider bun, but my actual burger is not slider size, it's regular size, so my bun may seem just a tad bit small. Let's see if we can, I should have put two pads of butter in here. Soak one down butter and the other. Not healthy at all. I did not say this was going to be a healthy meal. So I'm going to let that heat up. And then I'm probably just going to put my meat in the microwave. And then my lettuce is ready. I'm going to cut a slice off of this tomato, add my pickle, peel my oranges, and I'll see you back. All right, folks, it's time to put everything together. And I'm about to take those fries out of the air fryer. So we got lettuce, pickle, no condiments, um, the beef patty, some cheddar cheese, and tomato. And then I have my little topper right there. Cleaned up as I went, so my kitchen is still together. I love that y'all. Any meal where my kitchen can still be clean when I finish is a win for me. So first bite of the burger. You guys get it? Take that first juicy bite. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. So juicy. The burger itself is actually grilled. Mmm. Look at that. And that's a big bite to say this is a slider bun. So you're not getting as much bread, but you still get the goodness. Let's take one more bite and then I'm going to enjoy this and wait for my fries to come out of the air fryer. Show you proof that I ate my fruit. I had two tangerines. I am going to finish those for my vitamin C. Y'all can see my burger is almost gone. It is so delicious. Uh oh. The little squeeze top came off of my barbecue sauce. So. I'm gonna put a little barbecue sauce right here for my fries. And this is how my homemade fries came out out of the air fryer. Let's see, which one do I wanna try? Ooh, super crunchy on the outside. And then they're soft. Y'all see that squish? They're soft on the inside, that's perfect. So what I ended up doing was I cooked them on 400 
from the very beginning, which was really too high. So they got crispy and brown on the outside, but they were still soft on the middle or the inside. 